Hello kids! Today we are going to discuss our first topic in TL6, Module 1, Industrial Arts, Importance and Methods of Enhancing Decorating Bamboo, Wood, and Metal Products. This specifically, this module will help you to explain the importance and methods of enhancing decorating bamboo, wood, and metal products, and demonstrates creativity and innovativeness in enhancing decorating bamboo, wood, and metal products. Let's begin! Knowing the right tools for the job. Each tool is precisely designed for a specific purpose. So choosing the correct tool will also decrease the amount of effort required to get a job done right without causing damage to either equipment or the surface being worked on, especially in enhancing and decorating finished products. As the pictures, let's explain what's on the picture. Hammer is not a tool for screws. Hammer is to nail and screws are two screwdrivers. Negligence, let's continue. Negligence or lack of knowledge will likely lead to mistakes and there is a high risk of injury. When using the hand tools, precision and proper hand tool use are far more important than the speed of working process. Depending on the type of work that has to be done, a craftsman must own a proper hand tools. He must be able to choose the right hand tool for the work and he has to know how to use that hand tool to do a job. Without proper hand tools and knowledge about it, use how to use the tools, craftsman will lose its efficiency and quality. Hand tools can be divided into several groups. We have laying out tools, measuring and marking tools, impact or stri striking tools, they are hammers, mallets, and sledges, twisting tools or fastening tools, we have wrenches and screwdrivers, wood cutting tools, wood saws, planes, wood chisels, metal cutting tools, we have dies, drills, files, punches, reamers, taps. Holding tools, we have clamps, pliers, vices, safety equipment, this is important, goggles and gloves, grinding and sharpening tools, finishing and abrasives, tool storage, and accessory containers. Right tool for the job. Always use right hand tool for the job this way you get the best job with the least effort the least damage to the tool and least danger to yourself let's proceed with lesson one importance and methods of enhancing decorating bamboo wood and metal products question before we proceed what is the effect of enhancing decorating bamboo? Why is it important? And how does it affect the product? So here are the answers. So one is, uh, finished products tend to be more saleable to customers when enhanced and decorated. Number two, Enhanced and decorated finished products help maintain their durability to harsh elements. And the last is, 
finished products that were enhanced and decorated turned or resulted into a more beautiful, stunning items or products. Different methods of enhancing decorating bamboo, wood, and metal products. We have number one, wood turning. It is a process of using a latte to make various forms and shapes of wood. So what is a latte? It's a machine tool that performs turning operation in which unwanted materials is removed from a workpiece rotated against a cutting tool. Number two is hand carving. It is considered a woodcraft in which a sharp object is used to create designs on the wood. Various textures and surfaces can be created using this technique. Tools such as chip, curving knife, gouges, and chisels are used. Number three is pyrography. It is considered an art using a fire or heat to decorate wood or leather. Literally, we burn the surface of the wood. Wood burning in a way that we create art. Number four is flocking. It is a technique that lines the interior of drawers and boxes with a soft, velvety finish. Number five is inlaying. It combines several techniques that involve inserting decorative piece into a base object to incorporate new designs on the original product. Gilding. It is a decorative technique in which powder is applied on wood or other materials to give a thin coating of gold. Other definition is, it is a decorative technique for applying a very thin coating of gold to solid surfaces such as metal, wood, porcelain, or stone. These techniques include gluing, chemical gilding, and electroplating. Staining is used in wood to give an illusion of texture. Other definition is that it is a technique used to enhance contrast in samples, generally at the microscopic level. This may come in two varieties. First, pigment-based stain will color large pores of the wood while dye-based stain colors small pores of the wood. We have painting. It is considered the simplest way of decorating wood since there is a variety of colors that you can choose from. One may, may also add lacquer finish to make it shinier and glossy. Let's proceed to metal craft. Metal craft enhancing techniques. The first is engraving. It is a method of transferring a design on metal using a hardened steel tool called burin or graver to cut into surface of the metal. Number two is etching. It is a process used to make designs or pictures on a metal plate by using acid that produces corrosive action. In modern manufacturing, strong chemicals are used on other types of materials. Number three, metal painting. So we also have metal painting. The first one was wood painting. Now we have metal painting. 
It is adding metal enhancing media such as metal paints, Copic markers, and antiquing kits give color to metal products. Metal paints may be applied using a brush or spray. Texturing or embossing. In this technique, you will need hammers, metal stamps, stencils, and other materials to create imprints on the metal. Though there are new techniques used to emboss a metal with different texture, a hammer and nail can still be used to create your own design. Let's proceed with creativity and innovativeness in enhancing decorating bamboo, wood, and metal products. Products made of bamboo, wood, and metal are much in demand, both in local and in international market. With the evolving needs of today's consumers, many entrepreneurs are continuously creating and innovating products in order to cater the demands of the market. Examples are shown in the pictures below. Finishing materials. There are many ways or methods used on how to decorate finished products. Finishing materials are commonly used in decorating wood, bamboo, and metal products. The first is on the list is fillers. These are applied on wood to fill up cracks holes and grooves. The holes filled in with wood filler can be a result of something small as the grain. Under filler is paste filler. It comes from silex, raw linseed oil, and turpentine. It has colors such as natural, red, or golden oak. White paste fillers are used to fill in big cracks and grooves or uh, grooves of wood. Finishing materials number two is shellac. It is a resin secreted by the female lac bog on trees in the forest of India and Thailand. It comes from lac gum diluted in alcohol. Shellac is available in white or orange color. Stains. Stain, the common wood stains used are oil stain, water stain, and spirit stain, which are named after the solvent used. Stains are sold in different colors and shades. The easiest to apply on wood is oil stain. The hardest one to apply is the spirit stain because it dries up easily. We have paint. It is a finishing material most commonly used on wood. Paint prevents moisture on the wood which causes decay. Paint beautifies wooden objects and make them easy to clean. Varnish. This is a transparent finishing material that comes from gum, linseed oil, and resin making. It is hard and shiny when dries and gives sheen to the wooden project. Varnish is widely used in furniture and upholstery. Enamel. There are two kinds of enamel, oil-based and water-based. There are also gloss and non-gloss. Gloss enamel gives sheen and has an attractive effect on wood. Non-gloss enamel does not give any sheen but it beautifies wood. 
Lacquer. The term lacquer is used for a number of hard and potentially shiny finishes applied to materials such as wood or metal. Lacquer paint is a paint that typically dries better on a hard and smooth surface. It is designed to be cheap, resistant, waterproof, and breathable. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned a lot. Stay tuned with our next episode in Module 2. Until next time, this is your teacher Sandy. Bye-bye.